So today I made a homemade centrifuge. Um, it's simple construction, just you know, a wood base and two support beams to hold a motor. Um, looks kind of dirty, but this motor came out of a fan, um, an exhaust fan for a, like a bathroom. Um, I don't know how many years ago I removed this from my house when I was working as an electrician. But, I figured I'd save it, so I screwed it on here, and screwed it on here, that screw wouldn't go all the way, so I just cut it, um, but it's holding fine. And then, as you know, the ceiling fan has uh, a little plug, which, I mean, that doesn't matter, I mean, you could just, even if it doesn't have a plug, you just cut them and just wire them straight to the the feed but uh oh then uh it had some plastic blades that took up this whole space here took up this whole space here and uh I just cut them down like right there everything just cut them cut them all down and then I took a three quarter inch bit and I put four holes they're pretty even in which my uh, test tubes can fit. Um, I think that these ones are not even, so I'm going to just quickly even them out. When you run a centrifuge, you have to make sure that they're even, I mean, the weight distribution. Otherwise, it's going to vibrate. So, it looks even enough. So, um, you just push it in there. have to clean it out a little bit and still have to make the base a little bit more if uh, heavy but this is the pretty much basic idea what's going on here um, I have to I'm gonna make a real plug for it Oops, I'm not even get this on video I'm gonna make a real plug for it but for now I just plug it right into my power strip because I can kill the power when I want so uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this Right now it's vibrating, and uh, well, I'm just gonna turn it on, and I'm just gonna hold it down and let show you how it runs. As you can see on the support beams, I shaved them down so they don't hit into it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. <laughs> As you can see, I do need the heavier support but uh, it works pretty good I mean I could turn it upside down oh not that bad vibration the reason why it's vibrating is because some of the screws on the base that hold it up are uh, not down in the wood all the way and I'm not really gonna fix that but uh, that's I don't know, I'm just gonna find a nice big piece of wood. Probably has some kind of wa walls that will make sure no one hits into it while it's, you know, centrifuging or spinning. But that's it. And just, that's the basic idea. My first idea was to create this was because um, I started breeding chlorella and uh, I figured I need a way to separate the chlorella much faster if I just want to make a quick sample, uh, filtration of chlorella is really slow and uh, it's hard. You know, when you when you filter chlorella, you should... Well, this isn't a video about filtering chlorella, but that's just... This table shakes it, which helps in the filtration, but it's still slower in the centrifuge. The centrifuge creates a nice, dense layer at the base. Um, I think that's it, really. That's my centrifuge. It's really easy to make. And it beats buying a new one. I mean, just look at the prices of the new ones. They're ridiculous.